So on this week's edition, 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 I'm at the City of Fredericksburg's Department of Economic Development and Tourism office at 706 Caroline Street, the second floor of the Fredericksburg Visitor Center. Freeling Finds episodes in 2021 were jam-packed with content highlighting many of our retailers, restaurants, art galleries, and other businesses. We've also kept you updated on major construction projects on Interstate 95, as well as the reopening of the Chatham Bridge. And of course, we covered the fabulous opening season for the Fredericksburg Nationals, as well as the partial opening of our new Riverfront Park. Summer is an exciting time in Fredericksburg, and this year was no exception. We visited with the Fredericksburg Parks, Recreation, and Events Department several times to show you summer events and camps, the Earth Day celebration, the reopening of the Buffett Pool in Dixon Park, and of course the opening of Riverfront Park. And who can forget the beautiful tulips along Caroline Street and Washington Avenue in the spring. We're so looking forward to having those bloom again this coming spring. Fredericksburg has a tremendous amount of community spirit, which we feature in videos about Gwyneth's Gift, Greater Fredericksburg Habitat for Humanity, and the Fredericksburg Bookmobile. Don't forget the concerts at the Fred Nats Stadium and the Fredericksburg Expo Center, as well as events such as the Black Business Expo at the Expo Center. Some of our most watched videos this year featured local restaurants, including Casey's, Cork and Table, Rey Azteca, Haley's Honey Meadery, The Alpine Chef, and Rebellion FXBG. And we didn't forget to feature dessert either, as we highlighted Crumble Cookies, Kickshaw's Gluten-Free Bakery, and Blue Cow Ice Cream. We also showed you the creative side of Fredericksburg by visiting the workshop, where you can build things from wood, the plein air artists, several art galleries, and the Central Rappahannock Regional Library's idea space on Princess Anne Street. We did not forget Fredericksburg businesses and shopping, everything from vintage clothing, arcade games, nature shops, Renaissance armor and artifacts, to our oldest family-owned jewelry store. We covered a lot. Fredericksburg was a great place to be in 2021, and we cannot wait to show you what's in store for Fredericksburg in 2022. Happy New Year from Freeling Finds, and stay tuned.